Hey yo guys, how's it going? Tally here and today I'm going to bring you a bit of a deck profile, I say a bit of a deck profile, an actual deck profile for the 25 Duels Dark Magician deck that I was using. Um, it has actually very slightly changed, I've updated it very slightly to make it a little bit better. Um, and overall, I'm liking it. I'm having good fun with this deck. So as always guys, make sure to drop a like on the video. It does really help the video grow. Make sure to drop a subscription on the channel if you want to join Team Tally. It does help the channel grow. And of course, if you still want to help the channel grow, then drop a comment. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's dive in. Okay guys, so here is the deck list, right? If you just want the deck list to copy it, try it out yourself. That's totally fine. Here it is on screen. Feel free to take a screenshot and just try it out, comment down below what you think about it and tell me how you get on with the deck. If you're here for the theory, then let's talk theory. So of course we have the free Dark Magician, alright, it's absolutely mandatory, you cannot not play Dark Magician in the Dark Magician deck. And by the way, this is the best art of Dark Magician. If you disagree, make sure to drop a comment to tell me your favourite art of Dark Magician. Next is Red Eyes Black Dragon, which is pretty much just a garnet for our Red Eyes Fusion. Now, the game plan for this deck is to turbo out Verte Anaconda into Red Eyes Fusion into Dragoon. And to do that, we have a lot of extenders, okay, but this deck also has a lot of versatility in it, which is really great. So, let's talk about our extenders first of all, and talk about the game plan. So we have a uh, free Apprentice Illusion Magician. Usually you don't run this at free, right, but I want bodies on board. Okay, if I draw multiples of this, worst case, I use one to discard the other, okay. I want bodies on board, I want two bodies on board with different names. So Apprentice Illusion Magician, Magician Souls and Jester Confit are nine free special summons. Okay, plus this will get you a Dark Magician that you can then use for follow up plays. Magician Souls can also get you a Dark Magician Engrave which synergizes really well with Soul Servant and it can be draw power for any dead spell or trap cards you have in your hand. Right, Jester Confit, you literally just um, special summon it. Right, if there's no Jester Confit on the field, you special summon it, and that's how it goes. Okay, it's not even once per turn as I said, so what I've had done in the past is I went Jester Confit into Relinquished Anima, summoned another Jester Confit, there's combo. Okay, like that's it, simple as that. So overall we have Apprentice Illusion Magician free, uh, free Magician Souls, free Jester Confit, and also we have two Wear Arf though for our level 1 engine. Which essentially, if we've got Jester Confit and Where Arf though, we can search Magician Souls, vice versa. In worst case scenario, we've got Effect Failure, which is also a level 1. So that is searchable by Where Arf though. Also, if you have to normal summon it, which you do have some weird hands, then you can search one of these with Where Arf though. And finally, for our monsters, we have our normal summons. We have one Blue Boy. And the way that Blue Boy works, if you don't know, is you normal summon Blue Boy, you search secrets, which gets you knowledge, which then you send Blue Boy to the graveyard to draw two with knowledge. Or you could go, if you've opened up secrets, you go secrets into Blue Boy into knowledge. Essentially, it's just a draw engine. We're also running Free Magician's Rod because it just allows us to add a spell or trap that lists Dark Magician in it. We've got so many targets here, we've got all of this, which we'll explain in just a second. Okay, so that's our monsters. We have four normal summons. You don't want a, a, like a huge amount of normal summons because it gets cloggy. Pretty decent odds here of opening up two cards that allow us to go into Verte and plus because this deck is really good at digging in, getting a lot of advantage and drawing into a lot of powerful cards. So we talked about the Spellbook Engine. Again, this is a draw to, this is a search this, or this search is this. Soul Servant allows you to stack a card to the top of your deck that lists Dark Magician in it. And then based on different uh, named monsters for like Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl and the Palladium Oracles, then you're able to draw up to that many of cards. But we only have one Dark Magician type card. All right, we're not running Girl or anything. I really wish this one was also called Dark Magician Girl. But anyway, so we're running a Dark Magician. So essentially this is an extra upstart goblin because what we can do is we can Souls, send Dark Magician, use Soul Servant to stack any card we want to the top of the deck and then immediately draw it. Speaking of cards that we could stack to the top of our deck, we could have Dark Magical Circle. Okay, Dark Magical Circle allows us to look at the top three cards of our deck. Any spell or trap card at list Dark Magician can add to your hand, or you can add Dark Magician himself to your hand if you look at it. We also have Secrets of Dark Magic, which is a quick play fusion spell and ritual spell, but we're only using it for the fusion aspect. Now, this can go into a bunch of different cards. If you happen to draw Red Eyes Black Dragon, then you can in fact go into Dragoon of Red Eyes during your opponent's turn. You can go into Dark Magician the Dragon Knight if you want to go into that later on in the game. And you can also go into the Dark Magicians, which is a play that I like to do with it. Okay, this is the card that I prefer. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Speaking of fusions, we do have the Red Eyes fusion. Again, it's pretty much like one of the main garnets in the deck. You don't want to draw it. 
because its drawback is awful, but you want to use Verti Anaconda to go into it. We have Where Earth Thou, which if you have a level 1 on field, searches a level 1. You do take 2000 damage at the end of the turn if you didn't draw, eh, sorry, if you didn't normal summon that level 1. Realistically though, that's not a big deal if your opponent can't out your board. We also have Free Eternal Soul, which is... I wish it was slightly better, right? It is great for getting that banished during your opponent's turn, it's great for extending in the late game and like playing the resource game. By the way, forgot to mention the best part of this card is when Dark Magician is summoned, it banishes a card. Okay, so again, it's great for like that resource game, it's great for hitting some key cards, but I just wish it didn't have the drawback that it does. Also, we're running free infinite impermanence because not only is it a really good hand trap, but it's just a really good trap overall. You know, if you're playing a, a kind of controlled tempo deck, this is really good. Alright, it's got me at sticky situations where I've negated monsters and spells with it. Okay. And of course we're running the new Destined Rivals which is a searchable Dark Ruler no more for the deck that you can play during your opponent's turn. It's really good to get like a lot of early advantage in the game. If you set this and they go into some of their combos and they've got a couple monsters on board, then you just go ahead and negate it. Okay. And then if they've got like follow-up plays, you normally have like a Dragoon to like back it up. You've normally got like an infinite impermanence or an effect veiler or an eternal soul and dark magical circle to back up the fact that you know you've still got the ability to control the tempo so it's a really powerful controlling the tempo card so that's the main deck nice and tight at 40 cards next we're going to take a look at the extra deck we are running one dragoon of red eyes because again two monsters equals dragoon and we are able to revive it with selene later on if we have to we are also running dark magician the dragon knight because it's not a dark magician deck without this bad boy really powerful really beefy we're also running the Dark Magicians, which by the way turns out this in combination with this allows for pretty easy OTKs because if you have, for example, let's say a Dragoon, a Dark Magician, and then any other spellcaster in your hand or field, you can attack with Dragoon, you can attack with Dark Magician, you can then go into the Dark Magicians for more powerful plays. Also it allows you to draw and activate cards during your opponent's turn, which is pretty nifty. Now that's our fusions, we also have some rank 7s that provide us some advantage. So Ebon Illusion Magician is amazing because it allows you to special summon a Dark Magician from your hand or deck, which would then trigger your Dark Magical Circle, banishing a card. And when a Dark Magician attacks a monster, this banishes a card. So again, it allows you to really mess up your opponent's resources and get more bodies on field. So we have number 11 Big Eye which again just allows you to steal some of your opponent's monsters and kind of make them your own, link them off into all of our different link monsters here and take control of the tempo of the match. And we have Red Eye's Flare Metal Dragon which is just a cool rank 7 which can in fact allow you to go back into another Red Eye's Black Dragon which can allow for extending into plays such as Dark Magician the Dragon Knight. So again, lots of options here. And those are our rank 7s. The deck's really good at rank 7s because of course we can actually get a lot of easy access to the Dark Magician. Next we have our Link Monsters. Link Spider's really cool because if you summon Dark Magician you can then link it off, re-summon it again, banish a card with a Dark Magical Circle and again it just allows you to extend a little bit more. If you use Selene to summon Dark Magician to go into Access Code, Access Code won't accept Dark Magician because it needs an effect monster so we play Link Spider to turn it into an effect monster to go into Access Code also gives you another attribute. We also have Relinquished Anima, because we're playing so many level 1s it's just easy spot removal if they've got anything in the columns under the extra monster zones. We have IP Mascarena which is just a good generic link too, and we have Verte Anaconda which is the best link to right now because it gives us a Dragoon. We also have Crystron Halky Fibrax which is part of a combo featuring Effect Veiler and literally any other monster allowing you to push for big damage and break a board. And the way that it works is you go Effect Veiler plus any other monster here, go into Halky Fibrax. Halky Fibrax will then summon another Effect Veiler. And then Effect Veiler plus Halky Fibrax goes into Selene, Queen of the Master Magicians, which gains spell counters for all the spells in the graveyards and fields. Using those spell counters, you can then revive a spellcaster such as Dark Magician or Effect Veiler. And then you can go into Access Code Talker, which will have 5300 attack points and at least 2 pops. And if you did summon Dark Magician, turn it into Link Spider, it will then have 3 pops. Okay, allowing you to go for big damage and usually you'll have some follow up, you know, like a Dragoon. Okay, so that is the extra deck really. It is just about accruing a lot of advantage and just breaking boards if we can using this. Setting up some boards with Dragoon and Verte and just you know, some combo pieces. 
It is really solid, it is really powerful and it is really flexible because it allows you to deal with a lot of different types of boards. And where we can't deal with it, of course we do play best of three so let's talk about the side deck. I'm a big fan of Real Dark Ruler no more, okay, just go second, hit this on the field and then go ahead and like break their board, set up your own. Also a big fan of Lightning Storm because it just allows you to do massive amounts of advantage over your opponent really easily. It's expensive so if you're playing this in real life, it could be Twin Twisters, could be Cosmic Cyclone, it's up to you. And speaking of Cosmic Cyclone, this is tasty, just love this guy, really good against Eldritch. And for our monsters we've got one Pancratops which is again just really good spot removal, two Ash and a good hand trap this format which isn't always amazing is Cyframe Gear Gamma, okay, because you can for example do something like, I don't know, any of your spell cards that get you advantage and your opponent tries to Ash it so you have Gamma, right, so you hit them with the Gamma, then you've got two differently named monsters for uh, Verti Anaconda. Okay, now it does need two effect monsters again, we've got Link Spider, so essentially this turns into Verti Anaconda, which sets up a Dragoon and allows you to plus 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 plus. Alrighty guys, that is the deck profile, let's take it to the outro. Guys, thank you very much for watching today, I do appreciate you watching as usual. As always, if you like it, give it a like, if you love it, give it a share and tell everyone you know about Team Tally today. And if you still haven't joined Team Tally, then drop a subscribe below. And as always, guys, you have been amazing. I have been Tally. I will catch you all later. Bye.